service in Microsoft Visual Studio. So let's begin. In the file, create on new website. Select a Visual C Sharp over here and an empty website. Just add it. Yeah. So in the website, just right click, add, add a new item. Just scroll down. You will find a web service. Just add web service. Yeah. You can see a default hello world function being created by Microsoft Visual Studio. So I'm just copying it and as I'm authenticating the user ID and password, I will create the first function named a user ID and string a equals Sudesh and written a then I'm I will create another function for password I will name it as speed of beauty. Just change the object name. Just save it. Save all of things. Save. And again, I am going to my website, add a new item. Just scroll to the top or select a web form. Just go to the source, you will find a default.aspx being created, just go to source. And in this I am going to add one label. I will name it as user id. Then one text box. Then another label, I will name it as the password. Then the final another text box for entering the password. Then I am going to create a button. Oh, I'm sorry. and I will change the text of the button as submit and I am going to create a third text box which will display the output just save all of the things and let's have a look at our design whatever created yeah this is user id password and submit so on click of the submit button, we need to write the code. Yeah. I'm going to first of all create a web service object. Web service. And I'm going to reference that web service object on the button click string. Okay equals ws dot user id user id is the name of the function that we created in a web service string b equals and we are calling the uh, web service functions through a web service object we have created in default dot aspx remember this so what i'm going to do now if text box one dot text double equals a and text box true dot text double equals b then I'm gonna display 
a message in text box 3 as else please enter correct values just save all of the things and simply run it Uh, just select OK. It will open the browser. See, it will create, start the IS server of Visual Studio, that is the Internet Information Server, and it will display the output on a web browser. So, it will display uh, output in the web browser like this. So, this is the design what we created. So, I just enter the user ID, that is Siddesh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the password and the user ID which I created and simply click on submit. So yeah, it's showing the entities, entered entities are correct. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm change, I'm giving the wrong password that is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 only. So I click on submit. So yeah, it's showing that please enter correct values. So yeah, this was a demonstration of a short video on creating a simple web service for authenticating your user ID and password. So thank you for watching this video and also watch another videos on my channel and stay tuned. Thank you for watching this video once again. Thanks guys.